Steve Rodolfi with Bombardier. You've just introduced two new airplanes here at NBAA 2010. What is unique about these two airplanes? Well, we think both these airplanes bring bring new value to this customer space, the large aircraft market segment. Uh, one airplane, the Global 8000, will be the first airplane to, to go 7,900 nautical miles. It's really unique in business aviation, has the longest legged business aviation airplane there is. The, the other airplane, the Global 7000, will give us 20% more capacity than today's best aircraft. So between the combination of them, they're really setting new standards in the business. Why are you introducing two new airplanes in an economy that, by any estimation, is still struggling? Well, on the large side, it's actually done very well. And that's uh, really brought around because of the forces that's driving this growth. Globalization, emerging markets, you know, the high net worth individuals. All these individuals are, are, are really looking for these long range airplanes, these large aircraft. And this is actually done very well in this time. Also, when we, because we've got this new technology coming with these new airplanes, you know, now's the time to launch them. You have an engine that is purpose-built for this airplane. What was the thinking behind having a specific engine built for the airplane? These aircraft have unique characteristics that we just talked about, the range and the capacity. In order to do that, we needed some dramatic improvements in efficiency. So with the, global, with the General Electric engine on these global aircraft, we now have 8 to 18 percent more efficient engines than anything out there today. There's also a common wing design uh, between the two airplanes. What is unique about the wing design on the uh, 7000 and 8000? Well, it's an all-new transonic wing, uh, very low uh, dragged uh, ratio on, on the wing. It's a very thin wing. It's actually optimized using all the new technology, and that'll give us a, a great improvement in aero efficiency. Also very, very important for these very long missions. We've talked a lot about uh, the ecology, about the environment in the aviation business, and from what you were saying during the presentation, it's also a very eco-friendly engine. Indeed it is. You know, we're, we're leaders in terms of the, our commitment to reduce emissions in business aviation. Uh, I, think, I think when you look at these airplanes, not only are they bigger and more capable than their predecessors, but they also are 14 to 18 percent more efficient. Uh, and that's in, in, uh, in fuel uh, efficiency. They have lower emissions, they have lower noise. Right? All, all, all in, these are really green airplanes. What kind of new technology emerged in the last five or ten years that allowed you to build this airplane now? Well, again, I'll focus us back onto those two big pieces of technology. It's the engine technology. We, you know, the, the, the new GE engines give us a tremendous more efficiency. They are designed for the future. And the wing technology, the, the advancements in aerodynamics, you know, the high-speed aerodynamics particularly, give, give us uh, this, uh, these capabilities. We hear a lot that 95% of the business aviation flights are 500 miles or less. They're really short haul flights. You're building an airplane that'll go almost 8,000 nautical miles. Why did you choose that market segment? Well, it's all about flexibility. And, and while it's true that some airplanes, you know, uh, spend a lot of time on short hauls, in fact, the critical missions tend to be the long haul missions. And that's what you, you buy. So, so that critical mission where the, the guy has to go from New York to Mumbai to, to, to visit his plant, that's the, that's the critical mission that he buys around. So, so yes, there are short haul missions as well, but you design, you design for those critical missions. What kind of certification timeline are we looking at and where are the airplanes priced? Uh, the airplanes are priced at $65 million in 2010 economic conditions. The, uh, I'm sorry, what was the other question? The certification the process. The certification was, uh, for the first airplane will be in 2016. That'll be the Global uh, 7000. Then the Global 8000 will follow a year later. Do you have any idea of the timeline as far as when we can expect a first flight on either airplane? Uh, we're, we'll, we'll, we'll tell you that shortly. <laughs> All right, Stephen, thank you very much for taking some time to talk with us on Aero News. Appreciate it. Thank you very much, Tom. Aero TV is brought to you by... Integra Release 9 sets a new standard with the easiest to use pilot interface in all of general aviation. Access to any of Release 9's powerful capabilities is as simple as pressing the desired bi-directional page key. Pressing the same key in a desired direction navigates to the clearly labeled tabs with no more guessing as to what a given pilot input would do. Avidine's Integra Release 9 is the next generation in fully integrated flight deck technology 
and the easiest to use Pageant Tab user interface is just one of the many benefits designed to make your flying easier and safer.